Hey! Hey! I'm Mr. O, here with another oh, wow. moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. No one can sink my battleship. Oh, yeah? Told ya. Okay, fine, but I have a question. I understand that the plastic boat floated because it was made of plastic, but why does plastic float? Well, that's a great question. And it all comes back to buoyancy. Think of it like this. When an object is placed into a fluid like water, it presses down against the fluid due to gravity. Literally, the weight of the object pushes against the fluid. The fluid in turn pushes back up against the object. That pushback is buoyancy or buoyant force. When a buoyant force is greater than the weight of the object, the object floats. But when the buoyant force is less than the weight of the object, the object sinks. A major predictor about whether or not something will sink or float is its density. Density is the amount of matter in a given amount of space. In other words, it's how much stuff is packed inside an object. For example, this piece of wood has a low density. Not much matter is packed into it. In fact, its density is less than that of water, so it floats. However, this piece of aluminum has a lot of matter packed into it. It is much more dense than the wood and the water, so it sinks. So, the plastic boat floats because the plastic is less dense than the water, so there is a greater buoyant force pushing up on the boat than the weight is pushing down. Exactly! Wait, so how do big metal boats float? Well, that's a great question also. Metal is, in fact, more dense than water, so it should sink, but we can shape the metal, so the total density of the entire boat is less than that of water. Let me show it to you a different way. Before we begin, remember, science is fun, but it can also be dangerous, so always have a responsible adult helping you. We're going to make boats and test them to see how many washers they can hold before sinking. You'll need a place to test your boat design, some square pieces of aluminum foil about 12 inches by 12 inches, and some washers. Solid aluminum, like other metals, is more dense than water and will sink. But if we shape it correctly, air will become part of its shape, making the entire boat less dense than water. This is true of any boat, whether a metal canoe or a giant oil tanker. Mine held 89. And mine held 117. So how many can yours hold? This has been another Oh Wow moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. We hope your mind can come out to play. <laughs>